There are several reasons to oppose House Bill 1224. Uh, I want to point out what I think is the most egregious part of this bill, and that is its unintended consequence. Uh, I will assume it's unintended. Uh, I wonder if somebody could give me that uh, card there. Thank you. Just just a little bit of a uh, of, of a uh, an example or a lesson of uh, the extensions, um, because this is the way the uh, the amended bill reads is. Um, a large capacity magazine means a fixed or detachable magazine, box drum, feed strip, or similar device capable of accepting or that is designed to be readily converted to accept more than 15 rounds of ammunition. Now, this is a 10 round magazine. This is a 30 round magazine. This is another 10 round magazine that has an extension. In this case, it's a 20 round, but but actually, it it could be another uh, 10 round. In any event, this 10 round is easily converted to something more than 15 rounds. And and the way these work uh, here, I have a uh, um, a magazine here, and this small plate is on the bottom, and of course, th this is the top part that that feeds into the weapon. And there's a spring in here that, that feeds the, uh, uh, the, the bullets up. And you have to be able to take these things apart and to clean them. And therefore, you have to be able to get to the inside. You have to be able, and, and on this one, it's, it's got this, uh, this little plate at the bottom that you can take off. It, it takes what appears to be a bullet point to push this little button in, so I can't remove it. But uh, at this point in time, but but having done that, you can put an extension on. Oh, and these uh, green extensions here that we're looking at were made with 3D printers. Now that's readily available, and it will be more and more readily available as 3D printers become more available everywhere. And. That's the problem. That's the biggest problem that I want to point out right now is, is this high capacity magazine ban is banning virtually all magazines, regardless of what their original manufactured capacity is, because you can convert them. You can add an extension to them. And they're designed to come apart easily and there's where the conversion occurs, because you have to be able to field strip these things. You know, these are designed for, for the military in, in combat situations. And, and let me tell you, you need to be able to field strip your weapon, clean it out, put it back together, and keep on moving. And you, you can't afford for that one little piece of grit or sand to be jamming things up. You've got to be able to pop it out, clean it up, put it back together, and move back on. That's the way a magazine works. Now, another thing to bear in mind is there are many weapons for which they have to have the magazine to be functional. So this bill, House Bill 1224, ostensibly is banning high-capacity magazines. But if all capacity ma magazines are convertible to high-capacity, it's banning all of the magazines. And if the magazines are necessary for the weapon themselves, it's also banning the use of that weapon. The only exception is this grandfather clause for those that are out there today. Don't worry, there are only about, what is it, 130 million uh, uh, throughout the country, and of this particular uh, design, about 30 million available. Now, so what we're doing is we're saying to the people of Colorado, no problems, if you've got one today, you can continue to operate. But you cannot even transfer that to your family members. If I'm understanding this correctly, or if, if I'm incorrect, I would like the sponsor to, uh, 
to correct me, but, but as I understand it, it is a one-time ownership grandfather situation. And that means that the magazine and the firearm for which that magazine fits becomes non-functional in any transfer whatsoever. Unless, of course, um, you have enough gas to drive to Wyoming and buy one, which is where I expect uh, much will occur. What we're doing is we're setting up a black market system for honest citizens of today who wish to simply have what's necessary for their, their firearm to function. Uh, again, the 10 round is not legal because it's readily converted or convertible. 